Every day, the fat controller came to the station to catch his train. Hello, he always said to Thomas, Remember, be impatient, Thomas. You can be as strong and fast as Gordon, but you never can be a really useful engine. Let the silly trucks tease you. There were lots of trucks, and Thomas worked very hard. There was also a small truck and two strange things his driver called fish. That's the breakdown train, he told Thomas. The fish are for lifting heavy things like engines and coaches and the fat controller. One day, Thomas was in the yard. Suddenly, he heard an engine shouting, Help! Help! A goods train came rushing through much too fast. The engine was James, and he was frightened. His brake blocks were on fire. They're pushing me, they're pushing me. They're pushing me, they're pushing me. They're pushing me, they're pushing me. They're pushing me, they're pushing me, he panted. Die, die, die. Laugh the trucks. Still whistling, help, help. Poor James disappeared. I'd like to teach those trucks off, said Thomas the tank engine. Soon came the alarm. James is off the line. Take James from behind. Thomas was coupled. Thomas worked his hardest. Hurry, 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 he puffed. He was pretending to be like Gordon. Bother those trucks and their tricks. I hope poor James is hurt. James's driver and fireman were feeling him all over to see if he was hurt. <laughs> Never mind, James, they said. It wasn't your fault. It was those wooden <laughs> they gave you. We always said they were no good. Thomas pushed the breakdown train alongside. Then he pulled the six out of the unhurt trucks. They left the broken trucks, then with two cranes they put James back on the rails. He tried to move, but he couldn't. So fuck, 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 fuck. Well, Thomas, he said, I've heard all about it, and I'm very pleased with you. You're a really useful engine. James shall have some proper oh. and it's low job. Save me from Carol And you shall have a branch line all to yourself. Oh, thank you, sir, said Thomas. Now Thomas is as happy as can be. He has a branch line and two coaches called Annie and Clarabel. He puffs proudly backwards and forwards with them all day. He is lonely. Edward and Henry stop quite often and tell him the news. Gordon is always in a hurry, but never forgets to poop, poop.